While the year 2023 was an uneventful year, it was a big year for me in learning more about myself. I found that I learned more about myself in the year 2023 than any other year before. And I want to share with you the difference that 2023 has made in my life and share with you that I say this. Sometimes it's not bad to give up. Now, when I talk about giving up, I'm not talking about giving up on important things in your life, but more like giving in. Sometimes giving in can be a good thing. And I want to tell you what I gave up and what I gave in. One thing that I realized being on YouTube is everybody has an opinion. Everybody has their own way of thinking. Everybody has their own way of doing things. And while I do believe that we live in a world where right is wrong and wrong is right, I do understand that everybody has the right to think what they want. That's their, that's their right. And it's not up to me to try to be Mother Teresa to everyone. And I let people think what they want. And I do what I do and let them do what they do. <laughs> and I've learned so much. It's hard to really articulate exactly all of the things that I have learned. But I wanted to share with you, especially the last half year in 2023, is just a knowledge of accepting my lot in life. And this is where I am. This is where I'm supposed to be. And to find contentment and happiness in that. So many times it's very hard for me on my videos to articulate exactly how I'm feeling. Different times somebody would say that I'm preaching at them. Well, no, I'm not preaching at them. I'm just sharing my life. And when I realized that I had so much more potential than what I was giving, and when I realized that I was so content in everything that I have and I'm doing, I wanted to shout it from the rooftops about the joy that I have experienced now after years of sorrow that I realize not everybody is at the same place that I am and while I'm experiencing lots of joy in my life some people aren't experiencing that and we all have to learn to accept one another to forgive one another and to think the best and be the kindest to one another now we're in the winter and it's not much I can do outside. So I'm focusing on inside and I'm shopping in my own home. You're going to be seeing a lot of transformations in my home and in my kitchen and everywhere of me just using the things that I have. And of course, using lots of things that you have all lovingly given me through the years. I'm cherishing them and I'm using them and it's bringing me such peace and blessings. My husband has always wanted a mountain cabin. We always thought that when we got older that we would move away from this home and move into more of a discreet location and that we would spend our time in a mountain cabin somewhere in the woods. That has always been our dream, but we realized that dream probably will never happen. Just because that may never happen doesn't mean that we can't do the things that we enjoy. So I decided that I'm going to turn my home into a little mountain cabin. Now how can I do that? Well, we have the wood paneling. I have all of the beautiful vintage and primitive items. I'm going to turn it one room at a time into the cabin theme. So simple and easy for me to do with all the wood that I have in my home and it looks vintage and I have beautiful gardens. It's going to be a lot of fun and I'm going to take you along with it because who says you can't think outside the box and create your life that you want. So I'm not going to be spending money in painting my walls or doing things like that. To be honest with you, I love the vintage look. I love things looking old. And what you're going to be seeing me doing is taking things out of my own home, rearranging things, well, like you've seen in today's video. I didn't buy anything for rearranging everything in today's video that I was doing, but it made it look so much better. 
I am going through all of my cupboards and my drawers and pulling things out and using things and creating my own little mountain homestead. And that is one thing that I love to do and have always been that way. I've always taken nothing and make it into something. And I think a lot of you are the same way. I think a lot of you will enjoy seeing me transform my little homestead and it is with a low income. My income is extremely low and it's getting lower with the economy the way it is, but that's okay because there is where our creativity flows. When we don't have the money to buy things and we want a certain way of living, we can create it by thinking so much more than just going to Amazon and buying it. We talk about the Great Depression, Little House in the Prairie, and all of the things that were going on in years past. While they weren't the Great Depression, in other words, it wasn't something great that happened. It was something that was very awful, but yet there's a lot of good memories about the Great Depression and how people decided to band together and help one another out. And they used what they have. You know, there's so many slogans in the Victory Garden. And I want to bring them back to life because we're living that way today. You know, we are living like it was back in the Great Depression for some people. Some people right now in the year 2024 is a very costly year for them. You know, I don't know anybody who's not pinching their pennies or thinking about the cost of living. And so we have to go back and listen to what our ancestors taught us. We have to go back and try all of these new things. So I'm going to be showing you all kinds of things in my videos that were relevant in those years, but they're relevant to today. Instead of talking about how bad things are, instead of, you know, being doomsday and all of this, how about we proactively start doing things to improve our life, even in a time where things are really bad. So I am choosing in my home and in my world to bring positivity into this world and choosing to have this as a teachable moment for me and for my grandchildren and for everyone around me. It's when we turn the bad things that are happening in the world into good things, that's when we learn from it. And that's where positivity comes in. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired of the negativity of the world and the negativity in the videos of people and the negativity of all of these things that are happening. We can't help for what's happening in this world, but we surely can help how our attitude is affected by it. And that's where I come in. I want to share with the world that you can live abundantly on very little. Mmm, -mm, it smells amazing. Let's see how it tastes. Perfect. Mmm, mmm.